Hello, Joe once again. I had a user recently call me and they wanted to build a snow melt system with some heat exchangers and they wanted to use a Patterson Kelly boiler. This is the system I built for them in just a few minutes. Our wizard here, the second one over, is a hydronic fluid separation wizard. So let me just move this project down to the bottom of the screen and let's recreate this uh, going in our wizard and then look at a few engineering uh, features in there. I'm going to answer the questions here. I want a heating system only. I want to build with some primary generation loop. Two heat exchangers. 100% shell and tube, propylene glycol, some miscellaneous valves, balancing and control valves. I want a pump on my heat exchanger side over by the boiler, the manifolded system. Glycol feed, yes, axiom. One expansion tank, one air separator. There we go. There's the system built. So now I just need to come to the hydronic toolbar and add an imposed load. So this might serve a building. In this instance, they wanted to serve some snow melt. So we have a little icon that looks like that. We'll just come in here. We'll type in a load. So many BTUs. Uh, let's do that many there. Let's pick this up. And then do a return. Piping back. Then I'm going to go to the toolbar and grab me the Patterson Kelly boiler. Okay, come over. There's the return from the heat exchangers. There's the. Okay, so now there's my load coming over, transferred to each heat exchanger over to the boiler. Remember, if you hit the thumbs up button right here, Anything that has pink shading, if the pink shading goes away, that means it just made a selection of that product. So basically all the pumps, expansion tanks, air separators, heat exchangers, boiler over there. Let's look at it. Cleaver Brooks, excuse me, Patterson Kelly boiler right there. Okay. So that's how easy it is to do. And then you want to switch your design a little bit. Let's just pick on this uh, heat exchanger here and hit my... Control, click on that one, go in, just say, I'd like to switch the type to a uh, braze plate. Okay, you'll see my project view is different, plate and frame, heat exchangers, pink's back on, hit the thumbs up button, the pink goes away, it made a selection of those heat exchangers. Go in, look at that, Deco, dimensions and weights, everything about that. So now I have schedules of all this equipment, right? Remember, that's kind of the, the heart of the program is create the system schematics and there, then the schedules here as well. Let's just do the schedule only, equipment schedule right there in Excel. Save the project on my desktop, project four, file open. There's my equipment schedules. These schedules, along with the schematic you saw, is going to go on my project as it goes out the door. There's the boilers, expansion tanks. There's, there's two of everything, remember, because if we go back and if we look at the project, uh, down below, just minimize that, we had the other system down there that I had started with. So that's how easy it is to go in, uh, create some systems uh, using the software, answer some questions in the wizard and uh, get the project out the door. Hey, thanks for watching.